Hello and welcome. My name is Necron Lord, and today we will be playing Halo Wars 2. Now, for those who aren't familiar, which would be shocking, <laughs> this is the sequel to Halo Wars 1, obviously, which was a strategy game I think made by Microsoft Studios itself. And this was back when, you know, Bungie owned the rights to Halo, I'm pretty sure. But it wasn't produced directly by them. I think they may have consulted on it. But so yeah, here we go. It was a pretty good game, actually. I think it did quite well. I certainly enjoyed it, at least. Well, oh. keep sinking. So from as you can probably see from that and the keep sinking thing, this is the first time I played this. I got it a while back during a deal, but when my channel was on hiatus and everything, I just had. Tons of stuff to be getting done. But I'm back now and I thought why not start off with a brand new series. Hopefully I'll be getting back to the co-op series after a while. Not sure when I'll be able to con uh, conclude Saints Row, but I might start another one in the meantime. But for now, let's do the campaign. New game. It's been a while since I played a strategy game, so we'll stick with normal. Yeah, why not? Episode 1 will be the tutorial. I'm better me to do this now and on camera than to just blunder from mistake to mistake constantly in the actual campaign. Good to see you out of cryo, Commander. Let's run a quick simulation to refresh your basic training and get you ready for the battle ahead. It's important to be aware of what's happening around you at all times. First, move your view to your Marines. Good. Now that your view is focused on your Marines, have a look around. This ain't Swan Lake, troops! Keep it for me! Every time I get to visit the bridge, I get vertigo. Yeah, I try not to look down, but every time. Damn, that was tricky. Select your squad of Marines. I'm so glad the tutorial is so important. Look alive, Marines! Good. Units must be selected before you can issue them orders. Let's issue a move order now. Move out with me! On the way, sir. As your units move, the dark areas ahead of them are revealed. The dark areas are the fog of war. You ready, Jarhead? The amount of fog of war lifted depends on the unit's line of sight and firing range. Hostiles, Leathernecks. Ready to party. No rest. We've got our orders. Let's go. Shaking tail. Here's another squad of Marines. Let's take command of them as well. Just remember. Sound off, Marines! Marines reporting for duty! Now move all the units under your command to the next location. I ain't giving anyone a piggyback! Let's go! I like the little comments by the Marines as they go. There are enemy Marines nearby. Order your squad to attack them. Stand to, troops! Everyone up for a little scrap? I think this is supposed to be a hologram? I don't think this is meant to be like an actual live fire training exercise with real soldiers. Now you've readied your leader power. Use it to heal your units. Green. 
Thanks. Leader powers can make the difference between victory and defeat, so use them wisely. Okay, this is an interesting difference from Halo Wars 1. In Halo Wars 1, you had, I think you had access to all of them, but you could upgrade them with research centers. Also, I can't... I think leader points are just like something I get from like XP from all the soldiers combined. I don't think it's like specific to the one squad or anything. I think normally, once I've unlocked a power, I'm able to keep reusing it. I don't think it's like I have to, I need the leader point just to use it. But I'm not sure yet. Resources to build your first fire base. Let's go collect those resources now. When building structures and units, you'll use two types of resources. Power and supply. Oh, I think that's the power. No, we know those vehicles. There are some supply caches nearby. Move your marines over to them and gather the supplies inside. Move! Making a move. Moving out. Let's do this, Trent. Let's bust them Notice up. that your supply increased after the gathering of supply caches. Shaking tail. We've got huh, they made Let's capturing go. supplies quicker. Used to be, I think you just set a unit there and Next it would start harvesting for you. Power by collecting these power resources. Oh, power's something separate now. I ain't giving anyone a piggyback. Let's go. Interesting. Move out with me. Let's go. You've got enough resources to build that base. Select the base plot and call it in. Now call in a fire base from the Spirit of Fire. Good. The fire base will take some time to build, so it's a good time to collect more supplies while you wait. Moving. All in ass. Okay, it's good that there's actually this tutorial because there is new stuff I'm unaware of. We're moving out, squad. Move out. I mean, odds are they give us the important details anyway, but. Look alive, Marines. Let's do this, troops. Oh, they got them all. That's good. Supplies. Now ready. You'll need a supply pad to boost your supply income. Call one in on the empty build socket. Ah, the base looks very different. I don't know how Connect 4 I said that. Supplies from the supply pad. Now recruit a squad of Marines from your fire base's central structure. Resources power. 
Build a generator so you can produce power. steady income of the two resources, power and supply. Next, build a barracks so you can recruit advanced infantry units. So, not the most exciting first episode, but... Really have a follow-up point. I thought I did. Stand to, troops. Now build a squad of Hellbringers from the barracks. Like all advanced units, they require both supplies and power to build. Hellbringers are powerful anti-infantry units. Oop, that was odd. Building units is crucial to success on the battlefield. Where are my helping is making a final attack, Commander. Use your units to defeat them. Oh, there they are. Ooh, very nice. And I understand now why they can't attack air. I thought they had machine guns. Actually, I say very nice, but they're not doing a great job right now against those troops. Good job. That's the last of them. You've completed basic training. You can now complete the advanced training or head straight down to the war. Good luck out there, Commander. I'm. I'm not going to bother with the advanced tutorial. Or should I? You know what, nah, I'm focusing mainly on um, the campaign. I don't think I'll need advanced. I feel like that's mainly going to be for... Hmm, what is this? Okay, so I believe this is like a codex. Of the game. So I'm going to read this and then we'll end it here and then we will begin episode. Technically, episode one. This is like episode double zero. It's like a prequel. Alright, very interesting to know that Arx did that. The one thing I never quite understood about the, about the Foreigner's plan though is why they decided to keep samples of the Flood. I mean, I know they justified it by thinking, oh, this way we can study the Flood, but I mean, you had to wipe out every living thing in the universe to stop them. I mean, maybe, you know, actual biological samples weren't necessary. Maybe you could get by with just, you know, digital data. Or I don't know, maybe have kept, have kept all the flood samples in one secure location, not on every single uh, halo. Because you know, naturally, as soon as a new species comes across it, they're gonna they're gonna go investigating. I mean, like the covenant worship the flood. I mean, sorry, the covenant. No, they worship the 
forerunner technology, and humans are just grabbing in all sci-fi media. <laughs> anyway, I will end this episode around... Ah, there's more. Okay. What a guy. They've changed our appearance. Oh, excuse me. I feel like some of this stuff is based on the fact that I had the DLC. Because when I bought this game, I got it on the, um, a really good deal, so it was actually cheaper, I think, to just get the full thing. Anyway, that is the gist. There have been some changes from Halo Wars 1. And they have made some, like, you know, character changes, I think. But yes, here we go. End this episode, and next episode we'll be heading off. So thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed. Please like, like or subscribe if you have, and goodbye.